What's up, Tim Sykes, millionaire mentor and trader here, sitting down because I actually sprained my ankle, not doing so well health-wise. Thank you for all the well wishes. Um, but the market has been crashing, and yet OTCs have been on fire. Congrats to so many students. Um, in case you don't realize this, I now have nearly two dozen millionaire students. Um, it's quadrupled in the last few months alone. It's getting just crazy to keep up with. Like, <laughs> you wouldn't think that it was a problem, but it actually is because now people are like, oh wait, this is real. And so like, I'm more overwhelmed than ever. Part of the reason why I sprained my ankles because I'm just rushing around just trying to keep up. So thank you everybody for your interest. If you have any doubts, please do me a favor, do yourself a favor, get off my page. Don't waste my time unless you're 100% serious. I'm gonna post two links below. The first link is for my weekend strategy. If you don't maybe have a lot of time, if you're just a part-time trader, um, these trades that have been you know, setting up on a Friday and then you know, exiting on a Monday, they've been on fire. They've been absolutely amazing. We've just had it for a few weeks. Right now I'm like three for four and the loss uh, wasn't even really a loss. I mean, if you, if you sell it into strength, you don't have to hold it over the weekend. If you click the link below, you'll, you'll see more about this. It's tough to explain just in you know, a few minutes. Um, but the weekend strategy is on fire. Second link will be for my challenge. This is if you're totally a dedicated student, um, if you know you want to really study a lot, if you want to be my next millionaire student, in case you don't realize, all my millionaire students, all of them are in my challenge. Okay, I've got a lot of different programs for you know, part-time traders, um, for you know, people who want longer term. Um, it makes no difference to me. I, I'll teach you everything I know, but if you want to really maximize my 20 plus years of lessons, the challenge is where it's at. And it's also my top students too. So if you join my challenge, if you click the link below, you get live webinars from me and my top students. There's 1500 plus archive webinars, um, but two to four live webinars, new ones every week. Um, but right now, just want to talk about this weekend trade. <sighs> insane, insane, because as I'm filming this, the market is tanking. Uh, the Dow lost nearly a thousand points today. Um, worst day in months, you know, even before today, the NASDAQ and the markets were fading a little bit. So not a great background. And yet OTCs are on fire. Um, I bought AXTG on Friday and I'm going to do a, a longer video with more details. Um, in a little bit, which will be part of this video. But just so you understand, I bought it at eight cents um, around noon on Friday. I had a busy day Friday. I didn't even have Wi-Fi looking into the clothes. I probably would have sold half if I had had Wi-Fi. It was actually a good thing that I didn't because it had my right catalyst. It had um, everything that I look for in these Friday plays. By the close Friday, it had closed at 11 cents. So it's already a 35% gain for me. Um, I was in at eight one. And today with the market dropping so much, I was like, oh damn, like maybe I, I wish I would have sold half, but it got up to 12, I was out. I made my 50% literally over the weekend. It went all the way up. It kept going. I think it hit the 14s. I don't know if it got to the 15s. Um, it closed in the 12s, so right around where I sold it. But there was more upside, okay? from eight to 14. So it was really like a 60, 70% winner. Um, one of my weekend plays just a few weeks ago, CLNB, same thing. I locked in like 30%. It turned out to be a 60% winner. Not every play is a 60% winner, but lately we're having more of these than not, which is pretty crazy. Um, and again, I get so many questions like, talk to me about the details of this weekend strategy. I put together a free presentation for you if you click the link below. Remember, two links. One, if you wanna be a dedicated student, if you wanna be my next millionaire student, be ready to study your butt off, have no life for years, probably. You know, Two of my top students, Tim Gritani made nothing his first nine months, but now he's over 13 million um, and taking time off to spend time with his family. Jack Kellogg is over 8 million. He made nothing his first 20 months while he was learning. So be prepared if you're gonna join my challenge between nine and 20 months of just pure studying. Very little or no profits. Um, that's the mindset that you have to have. It's more of a marathon than a sprint, but you get the knowledge all along. Second link will be for my weekend strategy. Not as much training, um, but taking advantage of an anomaly, which has worked very well with CLNV and now um, you know AXTG. It doesn't always work. Um, again, nobody wins 100% of the time, but more times than not in this market. And watch this video. 
Um, this is this video that's coming up. I'm just introing it. This video is what I sent to uh, weekend trader subscribers. They get their own video lessons specifically on weekend trades. And I just want to show you an example of what one of these looks like. Um, so we go over, you know, the, the preparation for any trades during the trades and after the trades. So it's really focused specifically on this weekend anomaly. Take a look, leave a comment below. Let me know. Do you want to be a full-time trader? Do you want to study your butt off and have no life for years? Or do you want to be more of a part-time trader and take advantage of a weekend anomaly? It makes no difference to me. I do both. I try to teach, um, you know, how the market can really benefit you in many different ways. You choose your dedication level. Okay. I want to be very clear with that. If you have any doubts, if you're going to be lazy, do not apply for my challenge. I'm in no need of lazy students, no need of incompetent students, no need of unsure students. There's nothing wrong with being unsure. I just don't have time. I want to be real with you. The reason why I just freaking sprained my ankles is because I'm running around trying to teach as many dedicated students as possible. I'm not running around for the non-dedicated. If you're non-dedicated, get out of the way because I have zero time as it is. I'm sorry to be rude about it, but I just got to be real with you. I don't want to sprain my ankle. I don't want to injure myself anymore. I want to take care of my dedicated students. But again, we now have this other option for weekend trades. Um, if you just want to take like one trade on a Friday and sell it on Monday, doesn't take as much time. And so far, you know, I mean, I've been doing this 20 years, but since we've had this newsletter for the past few weeks, it's been doing very well. And you can get all the archive video lessons. Stick around, check out this video. This is what I send. Um, this is one of two, sometimes three video lessons that I send every week to weekend trader subscribers so you can get a taste of it. But leave a comment below. Let me know, are you gonna be dedicated? Are you gonna be lazy? Or do you wanna take advantage of this weekend uh, strategy? Or a combo of, of any one of those, you know? You tell me, how dedicated are you? How much are you willing to study? I'm here to teach you. Hope you enjoy. Hey, Tim Sykes here, and I wanted to make uh, just a little after video on AXTG, my latest weekend play that, you know, this is just phenomenal. Like, I, I am shocked at how well these plays are doing, um, you know, lately. Like, CLNV was, was amazing. AXTG um, is, I, I think, probably even more amazing for me lately, um, just because I keep underestimating them. Um, if you look at my trade here, I made nearly 50%. I mean, this is near best case scenario. You don't just make 50% over a weekend. I, I want to be very upfront about this. Most of my weekend plays, 5%, 10%, 15%, maybe, maybe 20%, okay? Um, this is 20 years of experience I'm talking about with expectations and reality. Um, so making nearly 50% and, and underestimating it, okay? I bought this at eight cents roughly on Friday, sold it at 12 cents on Monday. It got up to the 14s, not once, but actually twice. Um, and it was actually a pretty fantastic dip buy because uh, it did retrace from the 12s down to the 10s before jumping to you know the 14s. So if you caught the dip, um, there was an opportunity there too. So it's, it's not like just there's only one play on it Friday into Monday. You know, I know some people where, guess what? You don't have to hold it over the weekend. You can take 10, 20, 30% uh, before the weekend on in Friday. I mean, you might be scared of the overall market. I know I am. Um, or even if you do sell it where I sold it at 12 cents and it dips to 10 cents, you can theoretically dip by it within what? How long did it take to rebound? This was what's crazy because the whole market was dropping, FYI. Like the Dow was down nearly a thousand points today, finished down a little over 600, but this is like the worst day, the worst trading day in months for the overall market. This stock managed to finish up 10%. I mean, it finished up right around where I sold it in the morning. So theoretically, I didn't even have to, you know, sell it at all. That happens some of the time, but from the open, it dropped from 12 cents down to 10 cents. And then look at this spike. I mean, it spiked from 10 to 14.8, a 50% spike in, what time was this? This was at 9.37 a.m. And this is at 9.49 a.m. So in 12 minutes. So you get to choose, right? Like over the weekend, yes, I made 50%. I couldn't trade it over the weekend. I mean, this is the weekend strategy. I had a good, pretty, pretty good sell near the market open. 
Um, or even if you miss the weekend, let's say you're so busy on Friday, you miss it and you're seeing this stock. Sometimes if you get a morning panic, this is another one of my patterns. If you get that morning panic, it can lead to a bounce and a spike. And this is 50% in 12 minutes. I mean, this is crazy to me. This does not always happen. I want to be very clear about that. You don't always make 50% over the weekend. You don't always get a panic and then a bounce of 50% in 12 minutes. Um, but this is the market. And even though the NASDAQ is dropping, even though the overall market is dropping, like let me just show you in case you don't understand. Uh, and the market came back a little bit into the close, which is uh, I, you know maybe a good thing, I don't know. But I was worried about the overall market. If you watch my recent videos, I have been worried September and October. Um, these are the months with the most crashes. Um, so I tend to play it a little more conservatively just because if the market does crash, uh, three out of four stocks follow the market. And we had literally the, the worst trading day for the NASDAQ, the worst trading day for the S&P 500 in months. And yet I'm still having a 50% winner, nearly 50%. So I want you to understand the opportunity on these weekend plays. Um, and, and, you know, I'm not going to be perfect, right? So as it turned out, it hit what, 14.8? Let's just do some math. I'm not that great at math. Um, 0.148 minus 0.081. So best case scenario, right? Like best case scenario, if I had bought it at the bottom. Um, oh, wait, what did I just do? Hold on one sec. 0.148. Let me focus on typing, not talking. Minus, ah, I'm screwing it all up. 0.148 minus 0.081. I'm not going to edit this. I want you to see that I'm not that good at math. Divided by 0.081. So from my entry to the absolute top, it's an 83% winner with the backdrop of the entire market dropping 2%. So I want people to understand, like when they look at me and they're like, oh, Sykes has turned 12,000 into 7 million, this is best case scenario. Or you look at like my top student, Jack Kellogg, who's now made you know six plus million in the past six months. Or my overall top student, Tim Gratani, uh, you know, who's made over 13 million and now spending more time with his kids. Like people think like, this is impossible. These guys do what's so crazy. There is so much opportunity here. It is insane, okay? This is with the entire market dropping 2%. This is with me selling too early. And yet, we have a potential 83% winner. And you can theoretically lock it in at the open and then dip by again, too. So theoretically, you wouldn't make 82%. You'd make the, the 40 or 50% that I made right near the market open, but then you can make another 50%. So there's so many ways to slice and dice these opportunities. And by the way, AXTG, I mean, it's still not necessarily done. Um, it could keep going. And also there was one other higher price stock, CRVS, uh, which I was also considering for a weekend play. Um, this one actually didn't do as well over the weekend. It did better into Friday. So. Friday, I thought about buying CRVS um, around the same time, which would have been around four. Um, late Friday, after hours, it got up to the sevens. Um, it opened, you know, today at 9.30 a.m. Um, in the fives. So, you know, this one had a huge run up, but it also dropped substantially off the highs. Like, if you had chased this in the sevens and then it's down to the fours, that's scary. Um, so it still would have been a winner, but you can't necessarily just chase anything. And I just want to reinforce, not every play is going to be as good as AXTG and where, you know, there's 50% upside to take the meat of the move, or there's, you know, 50% upside over the weekend and then 50% upside with the morning spike. But I just want you to see the opportunity. This is why I'm so proud to teach this stuff because, okay, I made a few thousand dollars. Fantastic you know, roughly seven grand in profits. Very nice. You know, I'm, I'm closing in on a million dollars in trading profits on the year. That's not small potatoes. I donate 100% of this to charity. We're building schools, we're helping animals, we're helping communities. But the upside potential with these patterns is so much greater. I am taking a small portion of what is possible here. And I just want you to see that. So when people see, you know, my seemingly impossible returns or the seemingly impossible returns of my top students, when you start to take it play by play and you start seeing the upside potential, even if it's an ugly market, 
even if I sell too soon, you start to begin to realize, wow, penny stocks and low price stocks and you know stuff like the weekend anomaly, this is where it's at. And I cannot be prouder of so many students who are getting that. Even if you missed it, hopefully you're at least learning from this. Um, maybe you got a small position size. Maybe you sold before the weekend. Like there's so many ways to, to not capitalize big time monetarily. But every play like this should help you learn and help you prepare better for the next one. Um, remember, this is a journey. This is not, you know, just like, oh, let me make a million dollars overnight. Tim Grittani might be over 13 million, but he made nothing his first nine months. Jack Kellogg might be over 8 million, but he made nothing his first 20 months. So don't feel bad if you're not getting it. Don't feel bad if you're not profiting yet. But play after play after play. And whether they're a 50% winner, whether it's a 100% winner, whether, you know, I'm just wrong like I was on REFR, even though uh, thanks to my, you know, experience, I still eked out a small profit. Um, guess what? You're going to learn from it all. And if you cut losses quickly when you're wrong or take small gains when you're wrong, and even if you sell too early when you're right, there is so much upside it boggles my mind that there are any doubters, that there's any hate, that not everybody is just rising from their chairs, excited to take advantage of this. And yet, I've been teaching now for 14 years. Um, you know, I have you know, 20 plus millionaire students, but only like a few hundred people in the world even study this stuff enough. Like for me, it's, it's tough enough just to get people to study or even look at these stocks. Um, and I'm sorry that if you have like Robinhood or Webull, those two brokers, you can't trade this stock. I'm sorry, I don't make the rules, but I used E-Trade. I've been using E-Trade for two decades. Um, you know, it, it's up to you whether you wanna be prepared, whether you wanna capitalize on this pattern, whether you wanna ignore this pattern, but I'm just gonna keep trading them. I'm gonna keep teaching. Um, if the market drops more, so be it. I, I take it one trade at a time. Um, I, I literally didn't even think there was gonna be a play Friday. Um, you know, I, I was traveling, uh, this play was up a lot, but I was like, you know what? Let me be a little speculative in this speculative market. And I was just rewarded big time, even as the overall market dropped big. So I'll have another video um, later this week preparing for this upcoming Friday. I don't know if there's gonna be a play or not. There might not be. There's not gonna be a play all the time. There's not gonna be a great play all the time. But if you do get the right setup, like, you know, AXTG was, you start to see the upside, okay? It astounds me that there are so many people, trillions of dollars invested in mutual funds, in these pension funds, in these big funds where, you know, because they're so big, they just can't make big returns anytime quickly, right? Like if you're in like a hedge fund or a pension fund or some of these slower moving assets, you have no chance of making 50% in the next five years, in the next three years. Like it's absolutely insane uh, how limited the upside is with a lot of these popular investments. But then again, with these popular investments, you know, you can, you can invest more money. So that's the thing here, right? Like, so for me, this is utilizing smaller investments for potential bigger percentage gains, making a few hundred dollars, making a few thousand dollars. Um, at a time. And, and if you sell too early, you sell too early. But you learn from it. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about AXTG. Did you learn from it? Are you going to be better prepared for the next one? I'm pumped up. I don't know if you can tell. But congrats on everybody witnessing this and, you know, just seeing the opportunity. Hopefully, you know, you realize it and play after play, week after week, you start to take advantage of it. Thanks.